Hello and welcome to this video. Today the topic of the video is structural style of modeling. Okay. So what is structural modeling? A structural modeling of an entity is described as a set of interconnected components. Okay. So we will see this by an example. So the example shown is as of half adder. Okay. So the truth table of an half adder is here we have taken an input as A and B having an output of sum and carry which is C out ok so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1 ok so the rest of uh, of the block of carry is 0 so by seeing the truth table we can design the circuit that is a B XOR gives us a sum okay and A and B ending gives us a carry okay so the equation implies as sum is equals to A X or B and carry equals to A into B so the same we will see how to write this half adder by using structural style of modeling so for writing a code of an half adder we need to first import the libraries which is library i triple e use i triple e dot standard underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all okay this is the library okay now we will write now the entity of it so to write the entity I have made another video if you have not watched it then go through it okay so how to write an entity of an half adder simply write entity half underscore adder is okay now you have to write the port which is the input and output port okay so for writing input port we will use a because our first input is a comma b colon for writing input we used to write in in standard underscore logic okay termination for writing output we write we have to write out okay so the output terms as sum comma c out colon out standard underscore logic bracket close and termination so to end the entity we have to write end half underscore adder which is the entity name okay so here is your entity of an half adder so now we have to write an architecture of it okay we have mentioned the library we have mentioned the entity which is an input output okay now we have to write a body which comes under architecture okay so for writing an architecture we used to write architecture architecture half adder which is H A underscore structural we are using structural style of modeling so we are writing structural you can write it any name okay structural of of entity name here you have to write entity name of half underscore adder is okay so here is your architecture declaration here you can use any name to define an architecture of of here is here comes the entity name okay entity which you have provided in other case if you provide it for full adder then you can write as full underscore adder so here it uh, here 
in the architecture half adder will replace as full underscore adder okay so here you can write as as entity name okay so further you have to describe a component because in a structural style of modeling you have to declare a component okay so for component declaration for component declaration we use a syntax called as component component name component name then you write it as port which is of input oblique output port same as of entity end component okay so the difference between the component and the entity is your entity always end with entity name and your component always end with component only here no name is mentioned over there okay now before writing the component you need to understand what type of an component you need to write to okay so here in an half adder you need you need know the diagram of an half adder is okay so the half adder diagram consists of one xor gate and one and gate okay so here two components are there one is an xor component and second component is an and component okay so there are two components in an half adder so we need to write the component declaration of two one is for xor and second is for and okay so as the syntax tells us component component underscore name port which is consist of input and output port and end component okay so it is same as that of an entity even though the difference is the entity ends with entity name and the component ends with component only okay so as i tell you in the half adder there are two components first is xor and second is and so we need to declare two component declarations okay so first is component xor okay consist of port consist of port x we need to write of uh, any any variable okay which comes under signal where i will tell you afterwards what is in signal so need not worry about what is the variable you are taking you can take any variable so x colon in or you can write it as because xor is of two input so x comma y colon in standard underscore logic okay now z is an output so out standard underscore logic okay simple now end component now second component declaration is for and gate okay port is write as l comma m in standard underscore logic and uh, n is for output standard underscore logic and component okay now we have defined x y as input of component x or z as output of component x or l m as input of component and gate n is for output of component of and gate now we need to define this x y z l m n n so this can be defined by n signal okay so the syntax of the signal is 
signal a dash x means a is referred as x b dash y means b is termed as y z dash sum means z output is termed as sum because xor is functioning the input a xor b is equals to sum that's why we have written signal a b z as in sum because this is an xor part okay second term is comma b dash l b is termed as l a dash m means a is referred as m n dash c out colon standard underscore logic so b is also referred as l a is also referred as m n is referred as c out so here we have defined signal of both components that is for xor gate that is for and gate so the signal is defined we have defined the x y z l m n n also so we need to write begin okay now we have written and label okay so x1 is a label doesn't need to define anything it is simply a label colon x1 indicates xor which is a component name xor okay now we need to port map port map will map d input and output port okay so xor consists of which kind of an input and output that is x y and z which is termed as a b and sum so we can write it as a b and sum here we can also write x y and z but x y and z referred as in signal so we need to write the originality terms that is a and b okay so a b and sum are for x1 we need to port map okay second is a1 a1 is for and okay so a1 component name okay port map port map what is the originality term for l m and n l is for b m is for a and n is for c out so we can write it as a comma b comma c out okay now if you map the whole term if you define the signal if you define the component if you define the entity if you have defined the architecture then your code has been come to an end so we need to end the architecture first of all so to end the architecture we need to write end architecture name okay and if you see the whole code your structural style of modeling for half adder is been done okay thank you guys for watching this video if you have any queries then text on the comment and please like subscribe and share and if you want me to upload more and more videos then please text on the comment section thank you once again